Hi, it's great to have you with us. We are so glad that you found this video. I'm Tony Fink, the pastor appointed to serve the Pine Island, Minnesota area for the United Methodist Church. For all of God's children means that children's sermons are not just for the young. They are for the young at heart and for all of God's children. Keep watching this video to the end. There'll be some conversation starters for parents and children. But now, let's take a look at this week's time with all of God's children. And now we come to the time for all of God's children, so we invite all the children to come forward. morning. How are we doing this morning? Well, it's good to hear. Do you know what a recipe is? You use a recipe to make things, right? You made cut out cookies yesterday? Pretty cool. Did you put sprinkles on too? Just made them plain. But that, even plain cookies taste good, don't they? Oh, these, but these kind taste good though, right? Okay, I just want to make sure that they still taste good. So, recipes. When I was growing up in my church, we, when we'd go camping as a church, we'd eat something called GORP. Have you ever heard GORP? You know, I just found out this week what GORP stands for. All those years, good old raisins and peanuts. Okay? So, we're going to do a recipe. You ready? Okay, so let me get a bag out. Okay, so can you open that bag up? Okay, so good old raisins and peanuts. So what's the first thing that we need? Raisins. Okay, so let me get this going. Shake this up. Oh, so dad likes to eat your raisins, huh? Okay, so we'll have to, okay. So you'd get the peanuts, right? Okay, so here's the raisins. Uh, er, you know what? Your dad has some extra raisins to eat, okay? So why don't you bring these with you when you go. We'll put them right here for now, okay? So raisins and peanuts. What else do we need? You did? Oh, cool. I didn't even know who Captain Barnacles was. It's a coloring thing, too. But... Okay, raisins. What's the next thing we need for gorp? Peanuts. Okay. Do you think I got peanuts in here? Good guess. Okay, let's get some peanuts in there. You can eat the peanuts for me? You eat them for your dad? Okay. Well, then the next thing I bet is for your mom. Okay? Because when I was growing up, we had a secret recipe for gorp. You know what else we need for gorp? Some chocolate, some M&Ms. You love those? Well, it's a good thing you're here this morning. Mm-hmm. But here's the thing that, that Carl Manson, where's Carl? There's Carl. Carl's been looking forward to all day because he's wondering, what am I going to do with an ice cream scoop? This is what I'm going to do with the ice cream scoop. Ready? There we go. Okay, put that in there. Okay, now... The, do the recipe, though, we have to kind of stir it up. So kind of put your finger in there and kind of stir it around. No, you won't break it. It'll be good. Okay, got it? Yep, you got to stir all of them in there really good. And so we got that. Oh, actually, let me set this off to the side here. So that's a recipe for gorp. Is that, you think that's going to taste pretty good? Oh, lost some... M&M's, we'll put them right here, okay? You know, recipes are kind of cool, too, because they can change things. Yeah? An M&M? Oh. 
So I guess it's a good thing I brought the M&Ms this morning. Yeah, you got some extra. Isn't that cool? So like when we do good things, we find out that we're, we get something special, right? You know what? Jesus called that being blessed. So when you get an M&M from your mom, that's like being blessed. And have you and your mom ever made a cake? Yeah? So imagine if you put like the flour and the sugar and the shortening and the water and all that kind of stuff, and then eggs. If you put it, this, leave it in the bowl, is it, is it, does it taste good or do you have to bake it? You have to bake it and then what happens? It becomes like a really yummy cake, right? Mm hmm. Okay. Oh. Okay, so we'll have to post the online recipe for the balloon cake that goes in the freezer. So. No, you don't eat the balloon. Off of there, yeah. So. But just like recipes transform in something good, okay? Jesus gives us a recipe for how we live our lives. You know what? Did you know that? So even though we live in a place where there might be bad stuff that happens or everything isn't great, if we live our lives with Jesus, we end up being transformed, changed, and blessed. Is that a good thing? Is that a good thing, everybody? Yeah. We can live our lives that way. So let's have a prayer, okay? Dear God, dear God, we thank you for Jesus and how he loves us. Thank you, Jesus, for giving us a recipe for how we can live our lives. Amen. Okay. So, well, this is me complicated. So, extra reasons for your dad. And you're welcome. And, let's see, Tootsie Rolls too, right? Because Tootsie Rolls also remind us of God's love. So, let's do this to keep things... So you can carry him back. Oh, but, oh, do you know what? I think we should put some Tootsie Rolls in the bag, too, because that'll be easy to carry, okay? So open the bag up. Okay, and I'm going to have you stand. Why don't you stand up right now, too? Ready? Try not to get them out of the bag. Well, tr yeah, try not to spill, because that's what happens all the time, right? Yeah. And the ones that spill over are God's blessings that won't fit because God gives us so many blessings. Isn't that great? We can leave a couple there. Okay? Got them all? Okay. Oh, I think you're going to have to carry it back and then zip it after you get back to the pew. Oh, and just hang on a minute. Let me reach behind you over here because that goes on the top. There you go. Hi again, thanks for watching the video up to this point. Here's some things that you can have a conversation about with your children. Um, spend some time talking together about the recipe for a joyful life. What things can you do to find happiness and joy? Um, is it being nice to others? Is it helping others? Um, what have you done in your life to find happiness? And are there any things that you and your children can do together. Thanks again for viewing and discussing this video. If this video was helpful, well, go ahead and share it with a friend or two. You don't want to miss any of these children's sermons when they're posted online, so be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. May God bless you all. Have a great week. Bye-bye.